this 27 year old lost eight fingers and toes and what she went through should be a warning to us all when one young woman started suffering from a sore throat she thought nothing of it to her it was a minor ailment and not one worthy of medical care but when she came round one week later she was horrified to see that she'd lost eight fingers and toes Shelby Smith lives in Knoxville Tennessee and in late 2016 she was just an average 27 year old who liked to stay fit and active in fact she was at the peak of her health and she hadn't been ill for as long as she could remember so when Smith caught a mild throat infection in December that year it came as something of a surprise unfortunately financial issues meant that she didn't have any health insurance so she had little choice but to wait for her illness to pass soon however Smith's temperature had rocketed to 103 degrees well she was also simultaneously suffering from severe cold sweats but with no access to medical care she still refused to visit a doctor unfortunately it was then that Smith's health took a turn for the worse I started shaking and convulsing she told WATE in March 2017 my lips started turning blue and my eyes were rolling in the back of my head consequently Smith at last decided to call an ambulance her health was still on a nosedive though and the young woman was fast becoming critically ill in fact when she got to the hospital her throat had started to constrict and her organs were beginning to shut down still in my mind I didn't think I was as sick as I really was Smith told WATE she was however very poorly indeed yes Smith's condition was so desperate the doctors decided to put her in an induced coma for seven days when Smith awoke the most devastating effects of her ordeal became clear she opened her eyes to discover that many of her fingers and some of her toes had turned an alarming shade of black it was almost as if her digits were withering away while still attached to her body throughout her ordeal Smith's boyfriend Caleb Weinzerl was at her side but the situation left him completely helpless we just didn't know what was going on and what she was being attacked by he explained at this point Weinzerl and Smith thought that her days were numbered that was the most terrified I've ever been in my life he told inside edition Smith meanwhile added I would say that I was as close to death as you can be without dying Smith had suffered from a catastrophic case of strep infection and as a result her body had gone into septic shock it looked like something out of a horror movie she said of the sight with which she was confronted when she awoke streptococci bacteria affects the throat and is passed on through sneezing and coughing it's a widespread infection too doctors diagnose millions of people in the US with strep each year but each infection can vary greatly in severity in some cases strep can even be life-threatening unfortunately for Smith she had contracted a rare strain of strep that was particularly extreme if she was to beat the illness then the health of her organs was vital so to fight the infection doctors decided to use medication to send her blood flow straight to her organs consequently though that stopped the circulation in Smith's hands and feet and as a result doctors had to amputate all of the digits on her right hand her left index finger and two toes from her left foot Smith's infection even shocked medical professionals these cases are rare few hundred cases a year in the US dr. Jeffrey King Smith's doctor told WATE this is one of the most life-threatening illnesses we see as far as bacterial infection now however a recovered Smith is trying to look on the bright side of life and after discovering that a man from Michigan with the same illness recently needed a quadruple amputation she even considers herself lucky either I buckle under the pressure or I can pick myself up and make a new normal she told WATE by the looks of things there was plenty to get excited about too three days after her operation Weinzerl asked Smith to marry him and without hesitation she said yes later Smith paid tribute to her fiance on Facebook even when my heart tried to give out you never let go of the hope that I would return she wrote I truly can't wait to spend the rest of my life with you the start of the couple's new life together was however less than ideal because she didn't have medical insurance Smith was facing a charge of one hundred thousand dollars for her treatment leaving the couple lumbered with that consequently her stepmom Carrie Springer Smith set up a crowdfunding campaign to help settle the huge hospital bill but despite her ordeal and her resultant debt Smith remained positive after all she'd come very close to never seeing her loved ones again every day I see this as a reminder I have a second chance at life because I could be dead she told inside edition <laughs>